In today's Atlas preview video, we are going to take a look at weapons and everything we know so far about them. If you find yourself enjoying the video at any point, be sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you're looking for more content, check out my preview of the 50 creatures that we'll be launching with Atlas. For today's video, we won't only take a look at weapons, but we'll take a deep dive into combat and its many forms. These will include fist fighting, gun fighting, sword fighting, duels, open battles on land, ship to ship boarding actions, ship versus land combat, and ship versus ship combat. That is way too much to cover in just one video, so I plan on making another preview about the ships available and how combat will function between, against, and on the decks of those ships. For today, let's focus on what we know about weapons and then we will dive into the various types of combat. As you explore the Atlas, what type of guns will you be able to bring with you? We know of three so far. There are flintlock pistols. These can be dual wielded and you may be able to use a single pistol with a sword. They will fire a round ball as ammunition, probably a 50 caliber one. We also have flintlock muskets. These are two handed weapons and will be our best bet for long range shooting. Muskets in history predate rifling, which added a spiral bore to the inside of the barrel. Don't expect these to be insanely accurate, but they will be your best bet for long range. Like the pistols, they will fire ball ammo, and the ammo for muskets and pistols should be interchangeable. Finally, we have the blunderbuss. This is the pirate version of the shotgun. And it is also an incredibly fun word to say, blunderbuss. It will have a large barrel that flares open at the end like a trumpet. It will be devastating in close quarters, but it will completely lack range. This will be a single shot weapon, but instead of firing a single round, it will use something called shot shell, also known as birdshot. And in history, this was contained inside a cartridge or even a small canvas bag full of little projectiles. In history, the blunderbuss had a pistol equivalent, which was called the dragon. We've seen no hints that that will be in the game, but will we see it? I would love to. These are the firearms we know you can carry. All of them will be black powder weapons. They will fire just a single shot before requiring you to reload. We can theorize that black powder weapons will have a cooldown when they get wet, and of course the reloading speed will be fairly slow as it's a multi-step process. The speed of reloading is going to be based on progression in one of the 15 disciplines and I think it will be one of the 300 skills. Guns will also be used in duels. That's where I learned about reloading being a skill. Uh, this was shared in a recent screenshot. Duels uh, will be a formal thing that two players agree to and will be one with reload speed, but it won't be as simple as who has leveled up that skill the most. There will be a very basic mini game involved, and of course you will also have to be accurate when you do load and fire your weapon. Speaking of accuracy, I love these daily screenshots, but what is with the onlookers in this one? It's like they're watching their buddy set a Pac-Man high score, completely unaware that lead musket balls are about to go flying by their head at a million miles an hour. This is an aside, and I'm sure that people will complain that I'm sucking up to the developers, but I wanted to compliment them on the design of these weapons. We have seen pictures, screenshots, and video, including the flintlock pistols, the blunderbuss, and the musket. And the weapons look really detailed and really beautiful, and I think they've done an awesome job designing them. Beyond handheld guns, we know that there will be various forms of big guns. A recent screenshot actually shows a gun on a tripod, and this is probably the swivel gun. That was mentioned when the game was announced in the Steam description, but until now we didn't really have anything to match it to. We weren't sure what a swivel gun would be. Seeing it on a tripod makes me think that this could be a Gatling style gun, or at the very least a fast firing uh, mounted weapon. That being said, I don't think we should expect anything resembling a machine gun based on the level of technology, but this should be either a faster reload or a, f a rapid fire type weapon. Both players and AI crew members will be able to ride horses pulling even heavier guns, artillery weapons, and then they'll be able to use those weapons in combat. Cannons, turrets, and gigantic mortars will have what the developers have referred to as dynamically swappable ammo types. This will include grape shot, chain shot, spike shot, liquid fire, and more. Grape shot 
is the cannon version of birdshot, and it will turn your artillery into a giant shotgun. Chain shot and spike shot will launch a vicious shrapnel and liquid fire. Let's talk about that, guys. As a history geek, I am stoked for this. It will most definitely be based on Greek fire from history, the true formula of which was so closely guarded at the time of its development that we don't know how it was made, what it was included, or even how it was deployed in combat. What we do know is that it functioned as a 1300-year-old version of napalm and was used with deadly effectiveness against ships, burning so hot that water won't extinguish it. When Greek fire would sink a ship, the liquid would continue to burn on the surface of the ocean. This sounds like it's going to begin strictly as an artillery weapon in Atlas. But throughout history, Greek fire was weaponized into Molotov-style grenades and archaic flamethrowers. I don't expect to see those at launch, but if I'm already thinking about it, I'd like to think the developers are too and are thinking about other Greek fire weapons that we could get in time. Enough about guns and artillery. Combat in Atlas is going to include so much more. If single shot weapons aren't your thing, there will definitely be bows and arrows. Those will have regular and flame arrows at the very least. There will also be crossbows as well for ranged combat. We know that there will be fist fighting against players and probably against AI as well. I see this as a non-lethal form of dueling and it will involve the same mechanics as sword fighting. So think blocking, dodging, footwork, power punches, and the ability to stun your opponent. We know that melee weapons will include maces, blackjacks, and daggers. There will also be shields. I believe, based on some of the stuff we've seen, that shovels will work not just for digging up treasure, but in combat as well. We know there will be throwable javelins and grappling hooks with ropes used to board enemy ships. I could also see the game launching with battle axes, throwing axes, and spears. Sword fighting is what we are all here for, so let's talk about it. It's hard to tell what variety of bladed weapons we will have, but rapiers, sabers, and cutlasses are all variants of the sword that were available in the age of piracy. I am hoping we get a variety of sword types. In my opinion, Atlas is going to come into its own with melee combat. They have designed a tactical system for sword fights that will include blocks, parries, dodges, character motion, and the use of your shield. You will be able to stun your opponent, make directional attacks, and power attacks. And if the game does as it's supposed to, this will work just as well in first person as third person. Now, when I asked about this topic on Reddit, people commented that the sword fighting seemed slow, and I would warn you not to judge that based on the trailer. Historically, things in ARC trailers have been slowed down just a little bit to make it easier for viewers to observe. The speed of punches, cannonballs, and sword attacks could all be significantly faster in real time than what you're seeing in the trailer. Atlas is going to be launching with a deep player progression system. This will allow new players to customize their skills, but do not confuse this with a class system. I don't think you will be locked into certain disciplines, and I believe you will eventually be able to learn all 300 skills. I think that will be the equivalent of getting to level 100 in arc with all the skill points and engrams that come with it. The cool thing about the skills and disciplines is that they will have an overarching effect on everything in the game, especially combat. We know almost nothing about how those skills will work, but we can speculate that the skill tree will include aspects of swordsmanship and marksmanship. It may include agility skills, and it will definitely include crafting as well. These crafting skills should include the ability to make better guns, smith better swords, and forge better armor. All of these will affect how your combats play out. And how do you feel about combat? Are you excited? At the end of each video, I like to take a minute and ask you a question. The big one for today is this, PVP or PVE. People know me from Ark as the Bob Ross of Ark, guys. I build pretty buildings, I don't fight. But when it comes to this game, I am going to be playing PVP, at least at first. I will see how it is, and I'm excited to see what the potential is. It is a gigantic world with over 700 islands, and that means that the players are going to be very spread out compared to an arc map. I believe that will be the case at least. They will have a ton of systems in place to make the PvP experience as good as possible. They'll keep too many players from piling into one location, and there will be systems of government and taxation, rules and laws. You won't 
necessarily have to be a vicious warlord to succeed. There won't necessarily be dominant alpha tribes that make the game an unplayable masochistic hell for everyone else. So I encourage everybody to give PvP a try. Why? Because how are you going to play a pirate game if ships don't get sunk and if you don't steal stuff? How is that going to work? So I am hoping that Atlas delivers an intense and incredible PvP experience that is balanced and fun. Maybe it won't be. If that's the case, I fall back to PvE. If that still sucks, I'll go start a private server and get one for my friends at Gportal. Link in the description, by the way. Get yourself a server the day it launches. If you want to, just play this game with your friends. There's going to be a million ways to play, but I'm going to encourage you all to attempt PvP. I'll put a poll up on the screen. How are you going to play it? PvP, PvE, or a private server? I would love to know. I think that is enough for just this one video, but there is so much more to combat, guys. I didn't focus on boarding actions, ship-to-ship -ship combat, how you sink and capture enemy vessels, and what types of ships are available. How is building them going to work? If you would like to see a preview about everything we know about ships so far, be sure to let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like button. And I will be playing a ton of Atlas at launch. I hope to have some new viewers here to join me on this high seas adventure. I am Unite the Clans, guys. Thank you for checking out this preview video. I will see you in the next one.